Storm to Chicago and the Sharp NATO lately? <laughs> we don't know what, what kind of change would bring, but it could bring us almost anything. But then we have to deal with landfills, and, and Cook County has ended landfills as we know it. By 2030, you will be able to trash out anything without having to find a way to recycle it. And that's going to be happening really quick here. And, you know, of course, that sounds simple enough. We've done a great job with newspaper. But also, our food. This is a chart of our food systems. And our food system comes from all over the world. That kiwi that you ate, you made came from New Zealand, the bananas came from islands. Even the lettuce comes out from South America. The, the farther away it is, the less good the food is for you. But we can grow it locally. This is just one place in Chicago called The Plant, that they're growing food locally. I mean, how locally? In your neighborhood, in your block, around the corner. Uh, and you can grow it anywhere that you want to grow food safely and above ground. And of course, the biggest mess we've got is organic trash. In order to feed a city system, we have to replenish the soil. And we have more than a million tons of organic waste going into our landfills, which are closing. And the reason why we have so much organic waste is we've been successful. And one of the biggest parts of it is coffee. Don't we love our coffee? Deep, rich, delicious coffee. But you know, when we make the coffee pot, put it out there, we end up throwing away the best part. It's like uh, cooking the vegetables, you throw away the water. In this case, you're throwing away the best part, coffee. And a little bit of coffee goes a long way. 40 tons of coffee from the downtown area alone is being tossed out every week. 40 tons, just downtown Chicago. And you're possibly, if you drink a pot a week, a day, it's 48 pounds a year that you're adding to it. But luckily, if you collect your coffee grounds, your newspapers, and other materials, there's a process called vermiculture that you can throw your material in and you can have it work like a special black app uh, with nature involved <laughs> and feed it to these guys. Now these guys, this is a uh, Sonia Fiota, or red worm, and they just love to eat and eat and eat. They eat half their body weight a day. Can you imagine that, how much food that is? Um, only a few people I know actually match it a day. And they, not only do they do so, but they are super creatures. Not only do they eat, do not cause harm, don't have any human uh, disease factors. So everything they eat, they purify. And most importantly, they, when they poop, they poop out some of the most amazing stuff you've ever seen. <laughs> this stuff is pure gold if you're a plant. And there you go. And you wouldn't think about it, but four-year-olds love this. That earthworms don't live in soil, they poop soil. And as Darwin said, every piece of dirt has gone through it. And of course, how fast can they multiply? I'm sorry, I, did they put corn in this again? And unfortunately, sex, uh, worms have got two sexes, but they can't screw themselves, so they have to find somebody to love. And that's okay, because they can double their size and population. Kind of what they need to, because how they roll, they just love it all. They are just a big pile of work. They get these big bundles, and they throw off eggs left and right, two, three cases a week, and get double their population in less than 90 days. So when they're eating all that trash, they're breeding, and so they're helping us out with their fertilizer. And this fertilizer can go to places like the City Farm, which is over at Clyborne Division. All of you have probably seen it. Did you know that it's a $150,000 a year operation that gives four people a full-time job? Along with that, it was conducted by Ken Dunn and spreading across there. This is Eric and Will Allen, along with the mayor, on growing power on the south side of Chicago, where they're growing acres of food and taking gay kids off the street. And again, what do they need most? Soil. Um, and in that process, mayor's jumping into this, everybody is, because if we grow our own food locally, such as old plants, the manufacturing plant called the plant, first 
vertical farm, they got things growing in there like $22 pound of arugula, as well as other materials, and feeding the way we live in our city. By bringing it close and by reusing old buildings, we're able to look at this and take our food to the markets. This is some of the pictures of some of the food that has come from our local farms. Doesn't it look great? Could be in any Whole Foods. And they're feeding it through uh, markets, through all sorts of different places, uh, uh, pantries, whatever you want to, food pantries, markets. This is Uncommon Good, the world's greenest restaurant that is in here in Chicago. And what do they feed their plants? Worm poop, or vermiculture, or caviar compost, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yes, I like that too. Um, they feed this stuff that's made from your coffee grounds, from your newspapers, from your organic material to feed deserts. These are the food deserts of Chicago, so if we can grow more food locally, if you can take a moment to recycle that coffee cup, we can feed these food deserts and put an end to a lot of problems and make sure Chicago is a better place to eat.